<laughs> Welcome to Nyhaven Port. This is the Instagram spot here in Copenhagen. Everyone comes here. We were literally just walking down this one street and we saw everyone taking pictures all at the same time. It's almost kind of comical. But how could you not? I mean, look at the surroundings here. The colorful buildings, all of the old style sailboats. Copenhagen is absolutely a coastal place right by the Baltic Sea. There's a lot of water that just kind of naturally flows into the city. And it's just part of the identity here. Everyone likes to be out on the boat or out at the beach just enjoying the surroundings. And then of course the hordes of tourists that come into Copenhagen get in big boats like that and just drive all the way around. Imagine driving that thing. So before we dive into our explorations today, I wanted to get a little bit of a different perspective of the city. And the best way to do that is to see it from above. Definitely excited that it's a spiral ramp. We saw these down in Spain in some of the bell towers. It just makes the climb a lot easier than stairs. The price of admission for the round tower is 40 Danish crowns, which comes out to around $5 US. Absolutely worth it in my opinion. There's not too many tall buildings here in Copenhagen, so the view up there is pretty unobstructed. 360 every single way. You can see the sea in the distance, you can see all of the church towers. This is a great little introduction to Copenhagen for us. And even better, right outside of the round tower is a hot dog stand that is absolutely raved about among locals here in Copenhagen. Something that we found out since being here in Copenhagen but had no prior knowledge of is that hot dogs are somewhat of a staple among Copenhagen street food culture. Towards the top of everyone's list is Dup. Dup is a very popular place to get your hot dog. Do not even ask me what it stands for, something in Danish that I cannot pronounce well. But they're all usually served like this. You've got the pickles on top, crunchy onions, raw onions mustard ketchup. Sydney got the traditional, I got a spicy beef sausage. Let's see how these taste. All right, when it comes to any sort of sausage related snack, I usually like to try the sausage just by itself first, so then I can understand better how the bun and the toppings and the condiments all complement that flavor. Mm. It's a very smoky flavor. Oh, and then the spice comes in at the end. Wow, okay. At first I was a little bummed about the prices over there, each of our hot dogs cost more than our ticket to the round tower. But now that I taste that, I mean, I can tell that's a quality sausage. That's so well made. That's not your average street dog right there. Wow, so many flavors going on at once. I've always been a fan of pickles on top of hot dogs, but I've never seen it served quite like that. And the mustard in there is amazing, wow. It's a toasted bun as well, which I think is fantastic. I feel like I've eaten more hot dogs this month than I have in my entire life. This isn't just a regular hot dog. There's crunchy onions, there's raw onions, there's it's amazing pickles. Oh, and actually I think there's one more topping in here. How did we miss that one? We can see why dope is so popular. A big focus for us today was just to kind of document what our first impressions of this place are because it's a place neither of us have been before but we've heard so many things about it and I'm really starting to understand why. If I had to think about my first impressions, I would just say it's a happy place. Everyone here just seems so friendly, so happy. And I can see why if you lived here that you'd be a very happy person because everywhere you look, it's gorgeous. The food is so fantastic. The prices, eh, it could be a little lower for my book, but I can again see why it's so expensive. It's just so lovely. We just haven't been able to put the camera away today. 
We have just entered the Castellet, which is said to be one of the best preserved fortresses in all of Europe. It's surrounded by a green space, and if you look at it on a map, it's like in the shape of a star. Essentially because the circle in the middle was surrounded by a moat, and then you have like the bastions on each side. It literally looks like a star, it's amazing. So we just crossed over what used to be the moat, and this is the official entrance to the fortress. It's so cool, you can literally see the outside of the star Again, if you're looking at it from an aerial view, it looks like a star. And all along the bastions, you can see people walking. There's a walking trail that goes all the way around. One more thing we have to see here in the park, and then we're going to move on. We have to see the windmill. A random first impression here in Denmark is that all the public toilets that we've seen today and used have been completely free. And that's a rarity here in Europe. Not that we're complaining, but us Americans, we do appreciate a free toilet. <laughs> it is very apparent to me, just after a few days here in Copenhagen, that the bakeries are one of the reasons that everyone loves this place. The bakeries here are just on another level. You can tell that there's so much quality and so much time put into all of these buns and delicious creations. St. Peter's is the oldest and by far our favorite so far, but it is not the only one with a rich history, without a doubt, the bakeries. One reason people love Copenhagen. Another reason that everyone loves Copenhagen that we've discovered is all of the green space. There's so much park space here in the city and it is way too easy to get lost in one of these parks and completely forget that you're in a major European city. Uh, can we have two entrances? Yes. Up next is a truly special experience here in Copenhagen, the Tivoli Gardens. And we've been told the Halloween decorations are still up as well, so we're really excited to see that. This is the oldest roller coaster in the world. <laughs> Second. Second. All right. Oh, it's a beautiful view of Copenhagen.
expecting like a really smooth, nice little ride. That was not it at I thought, all. I thought we were on the kiddie coaster. That was oh, scary. Oh my god. <laughs> One more time because why not? 